Hello everybody, Aaron with Guns and Stuff. We're at the range today. As you can see, I'm already sweating. It's over 90 degrees, so it's gonna be a hard working day. So if you like it, give us a thumbs up because it's hot out. So what I have is my sticky holster. This is the SM5. So this is the right size for the SIG P365. If you've seen our other videos, I carried the sticky holster exclusively for over a year and I really liked it. Now at the range I work at, people gave me a hard time about using a sticky holster. In the comments, people like to gripe about the sticky holster and they say that it's not a reliable, trustworthy holster. What I'm gonna do today is prove that that's wrong. Hopefully, we'll find out. Um, pretty much, they say that the sticky holster, because it has no clips and due to the material, that it doesn't stay secure in your waistband. So what I'm gonna do is take a couple simple tasks that you might do throughout the day, and we're gonna explain the practicalness of that, right? But we're gonna take it to the extreme. And this is gonna prove whether or not that the sticky holster will stay inside of your waistband. So the first thing is, and people say this all the time, is that if you have to run, the sticky holster isn't gonna keep your gun secure in your waistband. Now, I'm not trying to be mean or talk bad about anybody, but usually the people that say this are the ones that don't exercise. They're the ones that aren't gonna be running. And I feel that people have this idea that if something happens, you're gonna be running, sprinting around like John Wick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprint around and we're gonna show you that that's not the case. All right, so first I'm gonna do some shuttle sprints. I'm gonna go back and forth a total of five times. Let's say you're going to work and you stopped at Starbucks and you're late, so now you gotta run down the street to get to work, right? The practical part. You got your gun in your waistband and we'll see if it stays. For all of this, I will not have a round in the chamber. This is just to maintain range safety, okay? I do carry one in the chamber. This is just to be safe at the range. So I will be racking it. I have a normal belt, nothing fancy, just a normal thin belt. I bought it like Kohl's or something, I don't know. So again, this is how I do it. The gun is secure in place. Now I'm gonna do it. Luke, tell me when to go. Go. Gun stayed in place. Drew, every shot on target. Do it. Here we go. Let's go, let's go. Gun's in place. It's all good. Still stuck in there when I pulled it out. Great holster, sticky holster. All right, so that is tiring work, but the firearm stayed in place. This next exercise we're gonna do is step ups. This is gonna demonstrate in a practical sense, going upstairs or an individual that's at work that has to step up on something to reach. What, no matter what type of job it is, stepping up on something is pretty normal in your everyday life, okay? Here we go. Gun easy. Goes right in. All right. <laughs> I'm about to fall off. Gun stayed in place. All right, after reviewing that footage, doing my step ups, the firearm stayed in place great. When I was doing my uh, box jumps, it did move up a little bit, still stayed in the waistband though. Again, my belt isn't very tight for the purpose of this video, just for that. If my belt was a notch tighter like I normally wear it, it probably wouldn't move. So, All right guys, here we go, do some step ups. <laughs> Not too bad. The holster actually was moving up when I was jumping up like this and moving my momentum up. Although, if you were wearing a little bit more sturdier belt, 
it might have stayed in place. I'm wearing a Ralph Lauren polo belt. So basic leather belt, you'd wear it day to day. So, so next thing I'm gonna do is some mountain climbers. A lot of people in there every day have to squat down to pick something up or they're down underneath working on something. So this is gonna be down on the ground and moving my legs. Another thing is my hips are gonna be above my shoulders. So the potential for the firearm to fall out will be at its highest, okay? Here we go. Came up a little bit, but actually the holster is right in the same spot. So there we go. All right. Wow. It actually did a really good job of staying in place. I was kind of worried before I started the exercise because I carry appendix, but it also did stay in place really well. So good job, sticky holster. So I'm gonna keep it practical for you guys. Uh, we're gonna be simulating bending down and reaching up for something very quickly and violently. So I'm gonna do a jump squat for you guys. Uh, here we go. Wow, stayed in place. All right, not only am I warmed up and sweating, this firearm is hot, it's cooking right now. So let's keep moving. Luke's making me do jump squats, I hate jump squats. for sure that was gonna fall out on that one all right I call this one the car push just in case you have to move a car to save a woman and her child okay I'm dying guys we found the lightest car on the gun range today uh, let's see if I can move it with the sticky holster staying in place here we go push it come on that car is bigger than you push it push it let's go let's go keep pushing that's all we're moving <laughs> Well, you would have moved it off their foot. Yeah, it was hard to move the car with uh, shoes on. We're in stone, so it'd be pretty difficult to save a woman or a child. Here we go. All right, so the last one we're gonna do, we're gonna run 100 yards-ish. We're gonna run down to the green building and back. Um, this is gonna say, say you do, in the event, have to run from point A to point B. Hopefully it's no farther than this, but if it is, I guarantee you the holster would still stay in place. Right on the side, belt's normal. Let's do it. So, How do you feel? Holster stayed in place. I felt pretty good. And now I know I can at least get a headshot. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna do the 100 yard run. Appendix carry with the sticky holster, carrying the 365. Here I would go. say this is probably 
the most likely to fall out. Okay. I think. Let's see. yards of sprinting dead sprinting I can barely talk my heart rates up really high the holster did fall out I did not touch it when I was running at all I didn't want to adjust it just to see what it could do so about 150 yards of sprinting with a casual belt it fell out guys so I guess the question is, is am I actually surprised that this fell out before Luke ran I said this is the most likely it would be to fall out. And I know that because the one time I did wear a sticky holster with athletic shorts, I carried in the front and I ran into my house because it was raining and it did fall out. Um, I figured because he's wearing shorts and then in the front you have the most movement that this would happen. So it doesn't surprise me, but this is something that can happen carrying appendix regardless. So, so we're gonna put it back in and finish the race. I'm not one to stop halfway through. Here we go guys. Let's go. I wanted to top off Aaron's head headshots here. Not too bad. It's pretty good group for a pretty high heart rate, guys. Be sure you continue to practice shooting with your heart rate up especially if you're carrying every day that's very important all right so there's the sig p365 inside of the sticky holster sm5 now out of all of those tests the holster did fall out on one that's when we sprinted um about 100 ish meters 150 ish meters while luke was carrying an appendix it did fall out now if you are carrying this appendix that is probably my one main gripe is that it does have that possibility. When I use a sticky holster, I never carry an appendix for that potential reason. So it just kind of depends with your lifestyle and what you like. Again, I say it in every video, everybody likes everything different and some things work for others that don't work for some. I love the sticky holster. I would like all like the terrible things people say about it to go away, but just kind of like fake news on the internet. As all of these examples we did today show, 90% of the time, your sticky holster is going to be good. We took everything to the extreme. We did sprints, relay sprints. We did like some box jumps, some stair climbers, some mountain climbers, some, some power jumps. And then we again took it for the last final run and that's when it did fail for Luke. For me, when I had it on the three to five, I had zero issues whatsoever. So hopefully if you carry a sticky holster, this gives you a little bit more trust in the product and I definitely trust this product. I will say if you work out with your firearms, you need to make sure that you keep them oiled up, otherwise they will rust. Right now I have this thing coated in oil because the potential for rust is there. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you liked it. We're out here sweating and we're working hard. So if you could, give us a thumbs up and a share so that other people can try out Sticky Holster.